Next question, uh, Ms. Mariam Jaffa. Sir, while the National Environment Agency, NEA, does not regulate prices of cooked food sold at hawker centres, it aims to provide hawkers with a conducive environment to set affordable food prices. Thus far, despite rising costs, affordable meal options remain available at our hawker centres, including those managed by NEA and town councils, as well as socially conscious enterprises, where the operators are required to keep food affordable and have done so by ensuring at least one budget meal option per store. Ms. Mariam Jaffa. Thank the Minister for uh, the response. I have one uh, SQ. Um, basically, we are still seeing an increase in prices um, at our hawker centres. The budget meals are much appreciated, um, but we are starting to see quite a big divergence between the budget meals and the regular price meals. Um, and also starting to see a creep in the lower price options, um, say from a 380 budget meal has become a 420 budget meal in one of my uh, coffee shops. Um, so I understand that currently they have a rental rebate of... Um, um, of 5% um, to pay, I, I guess, to, to uh, sustain these budget meals, um, and that's for a year. Um, does, does, the HD, uh, does the NEA or HDB have any um, um, already plans to extend that uh, rebate, um, or do we see any risk of um, the prices of budget meals actually uh, not being able to be sustained at the $4 sort of price range that it is at today? SMS call. So I, I thank the member for raising uh, this concern. Uh, as I said, the NEA does not regulate food prices sold at hawker centres because hawkers actually face different cost pressures um, in running their operations. And some of these factors can include um, uh, the operating costs, perhaps utility. It could also pertain to some of the other um, costs that they incur from buying their raw materials, for example. Um, and these things differ from store to store, but as she has mentioned, NEA does provide some help in terms of moderating their, their rentals and in times of uh, a need, there has been uh, some rent rebates given to these hawkers. We will watch these uh, pressures on the hawkers closely and if there are further needs, we can see how we can best assist them. But a longer term sustainable uh, option is to really see how they can also become more productive. Uh, some of these hawkers have already adopted more productive formats uh, with shared resources such as centralised cleaning, uh, and as well as dishwashing, so that they actually can pull their resources together and incur less costs from their cleaning and their dishwashing needs. Uh, other options, for example, that can help defray the cost to consumers would come in the form of our C cost of living assurance packages, including CDC vouchers, that help our residents to have some extra cash to spend at these hawker centres and also bring some revenue benefit to these hawkers as well. So I think through these kind of efforts in multi-pronged manner, we hope to reduce the cost impact on consumers while helping our hawkers to remain sustainable.